wish I knew. I wish I knew you want me. What's good, YouTube? What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy, Reese. And your girl, Rayleigh. And we're back with another video. If you guys are new to our channel, you've never seen our face before, make sure that subscribe button. Turn that post notification bell on so you find it every single time we post a recent Ray video. Bought a drone, guys. I'm honestly super excited for it. That's why we're sitting in the room eating. I don't know. Honestly, I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest. Super transparent with y'all. Sometimes I do be prioritizing stupid shit over like the more important, not like the super important shit, but like. Dining table's really As you can see. Okay, we, look. We needed a drone. That's what we need. With a bar, like bar stools, we have those on the way. They're just like. Not here. To get here. But our dining <laughs> table, we haven't got a dining table yet. And so that's why we're in our room eating on the floor. No, and also we just, why can't we it's eat in our room here. on the floor? It's, yeah, the lighting's great in here. You look comfy. Super comfy, actually. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get straight into this video. So, with the title, we honestly, like genuinely, I think more me than her, but I really think that our baby is gonna be coming a lot earlier than, we, than the doctor said. I'm gonna give you my reasoning. Number one, because there's really no like time I can pimp, like this really goes back. No, there's really no time that I can pinpoint in January when she would have conceived. Not that we didn't, of course, TMI, but like, not that we didn't have, but. We didn't. No, stop. But like, I'm gonna be completely honest. I think she conceived in December, even if it was at the end of December. And I think our baby is, I, yeah, our baby's gonna come early. He's already heads down. He was heads down at like 28 weeks. And the reason why I say that is because his movements were different. And I remember telling Carly, I was like, girl, he's, he's definitely heads down because I started to feel more of like, what? You put your barbecue sauce cap on my honey mustard or my honey roasted barbecue. Just wipe it off. No. It's nasty anyways. But <laughs> I told her because literally I could feel more of like, like elbows and like feet and hand, hand movement. And I would feel like a little ball like just rubbing on the side. So almost as if like his elbow was like gliding like on my belly and stuff. I was like, okay, his movements are definitely different. And then we went to our 30 week checkup and she was like, oh, baby looks good. He's already heads down and da 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 da. Why did I get scared that I said he? For some reason mm. I'm thinking. What if we were playing a prank on you guys this entire time and it's really a girl? Right, don't say that. But anyways, his movements are definitely different. And I've been experiencing Braxton Hicks, which is completely normal. You can even feel them like in your second trimester, some women in their first. But yeah, and I'm almost like 90% sure I lost some of my mucus plug already because I was doing research and it looked the exact same. And I know the difference between a mucus plug and discharge. And I'm eating. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Let me show you a picture. Oh. Do you want to, do you want to see the mucus plug? But. My sister, the doctors were off by six weeks and they thought when my mom went in labor, they thought like, they were like, no, we got to keep the baby in there longer because they thought she was going to come out before like a preemie and Jersey came out like full, full, uh, full term. So no, this is your baby. And I feel like he's definitely advanced and he's having FOMO right now. You think he's going to be advanced? Yeah. And he's having fun. Jordan skipped kindergarten because he was so smart. So okay. I would... okay, it's not a hard test to skip kindergarten. And my mom really pushed for it because she only wanted me a year behind justice. Mm. But, I mean, yeah. It was so my you're not really that, that smart. It's just... I think I'm hella smart, but... I'm yeah. definitely more, like, out of book smart. I don't want to call it just street smart, but, like, I'm not really, like, school book smart. But when it comes to, like, shit that... I don't know what I'm saying. Mm. That didn't sound that smart. But, you guys, right now... It's so hard right here. He's sitting right here. He's moving a lot. I'm gonna pull up a video. I'll pop up a video right now of like a video that we have him moving a lot. But also the girls didn't like turn like heads down until I was like 37 weeks. Damn. So an update. But it is normal at 30 weeks too, so. An update on just life. Our baby shower is coming up in a few weeks. We as long as we make it to the baby shower, cause I'll be 35 weeks. I'll be a day, two days, away from turning 35 weeks, he could come after that. I'll start bouncing on the ball. Just with our luck, he's gonna come on the baby shower watch. That's fine. I wanna be like, hey, listen, we're gonna get through it. 
Because that would I'm be not... a whole four. That would be thirty six weeks in doctor terms. You would be thirty six weeks. About thirty. Yeah, you will. I'll be turning thirty five the Monday. You'll be thirty five weeks after the baby shower. No. Yes, babe. Yes. Look at your calendar right now. Do the math. I'm gonna be thirty five weeks the following week or following Monday from the baby shower. I think Raylene just farted, y'all. You didn't fart? Does it stink? No, I heard like a mm. I didn't fart. Boy, you wish I farted. But yeah, he is moving a lot. Baby shower is a lot of planning. And mm -hmm. let's update him on our wedding. Like what we've like kind of changed to. So we decided not to get married. No, we just don't want like a huge wedding. And that's nothing like No, we're waiting because I know, but like we would rather have I mean, I would say for me All of a sudden. I would rather spend no, I still want to spend a lot of money, but I'm saying like, I'd rather spend a lot more money on like a week, week and a half vacation to something like really nice rather than spending hella money for eight hours of a wedding, you know? So just like, and you're still capturing a memory. It's just, it's a longer memory. It's mm -hmm. like worth it. It's like, even though, I mean, a wedding, there's really no type of money that you can put on it. People think that their love costs 250 grand. Some people think that they're, who's at her house? Somebody's here. Sorry, keep moving. But basically, the de we're definitely going to have a wedding, you guys. We just, with the baby coming and then like us finding out that we are pregnant, we kind of put it on pause because we weren't in a rush because, I mean, of course, our focus is the baby right now and the baby shower and all that fun stuff. So we're not in a hurry to throw a wedding. And honestly, I even told him, like, we can even elope and then just have a big ass party. But then again, like, I want to do the whole walking down the aisle saying I do because this is our only wedding that we'll ever have for the rest of our life. That was unless La you leave me. La Roche de Posse and milk makeup. Perfect. But yeah, so we're definitely gonna have a wedding. It's gonna be in the works, but we wanna enjoy the baby and probably once he turns a year we'll probably start really like buckling down on a wedding and Figuring everything out, cause then he could be our little ring boy. I've been nesting. And then we have our flower girl. Oh yeah, you've been nesting. Our nursery is basically set up already. We just have to like get stuff for the walls. We have our car seat. Stroller, and car stroller. seat. Shout out to Orbit Baby. They definitely hooked us up on that one. But it's like, so the car seat basically like latches onto the base, and instead of like having to like awkwardly put a baby in, like because they sit backwards, so you have to awkwardly put them in sideways, kind of, and strap them into the car seat. The stroller, or the car seat actually like have turns you ever put and a baby faces in a car? you. you so? Penelope, not a lot though, but it's I know how to do it. Perfect, we should practice with like- Bro, I'm phone. telling you, like, you're gonna be so surprised. I'm gonna pick up on stuff so easy. Yeah, it's not hard. Um. It's not. Oh, snap. We have our class tomorrow. Yes, we, we have, have our, our birthing class. class tomorrow. We're doing a, a water birth, y'all. At home birth. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, we're not doing at home Honestly, birth. Honestly, shout out to Athena because she's been like my right hand girl okay. this whole pregnancy. Like anytime I have a craving or if I need to make a store run, she takes me. Okay, one thing about the store runs though, if you know me, I hate the grocery store. So Athena definitely goes with Raylene, so. She helps me run my errands. I hate the grocery store. I love it. I'll go anywhere but the grocery store. It's really not that it's bad. It's cold. You're spending money in, in an uncomfortable environment. Like if they, they need to like make it warm and make it comfortable inside a grocery store so you're okay with spending money. You gotta spend three, four hundred dollars and you're uncomfortable the entire time. Speaking of you guys, literally, the prices of groceries and shit is just ridiculous. The right price now. for the food for like, just our no baby way. shower. Yeah. Hella money. I'm definitely over it and I don't feel bad for saying it because my back has been hurting and getting comfortable at night is literally so hard because he is too active at night. Like there's no way you're up that late, bro. Like go to sleep. Go to sleep. That 12 pound watermelon was a cheat though. Like there's no, no baby weighs 12 pounds. Boy, you gotta understand, I'm carrying my own fat and the, the baby's weight and my tits. That's about- So everything, you guys, I'm at 140. I'm 140 pounds right now. So that's my weight plus the baby's weight. And the baby's only like, like four pounds. The baby is almost four pounds. Oh, he is in the 78th percentile for his size, which is hella cool because me and Raylene are tiny. And so, 
To but hear I, that our baby I is think above that's average? Normal, though. No, it's not. I don't want to hear that it's normal. He's going to be like six pounds. He's above average. No, he's not. Yeah, he if is. you guys could guess how much our baby is gonna weigh, comment down below right now. What did you say? Six pounds, like eight ounces. I said seven three or seven four. Th no, then I said seven six or seven I seven. I think you said seven two or something. I think you I said did seven, say seven eight, two. Maybe. I did no, I did say seven two. Who said my mom said seven nine? Or no? I don't know. It's all on the whiteboard. No, she said seven two because she said the, he's gonna weigh the exact amount as me, which I don't we'll get. See. It's not gonna make sense. Honestly, don't know. The girls were definitely six pounds. I feel like, um, do you think I'm bigger with this pregnancy, Thina? Yes. I think I'm definitely bigger with this pregnancy. Damn. That scares me for, <laughs> that scares me because, like, I'm just worried about how I'm going to look after. It's all in the, uh... You're going to have to, like, stretch my skin to see my belly button. Bro, come on, dude. This is not going to be that bad. It's all in the story. What story? Like, you got pregnant by me, duh. Tell them what story. Oh, why my stomach's going to look like... Like, it's, it's all, like... It's part of life. It's part of the story. It's part of pregnancy. I don't think she gets what I'm trying to say. Do you not get what I'm trying to say? Like, I got Are fucking- Are you getting hella deep right now? No, like, I dove into Mexico. I dove into the bottom of the pool and I got a fucking scar for the rest of my life on my nose. It's part of the story. Holding my skin, lifting it up. It's part of the story. <laughs> Stretching it out. That's what I'm scared of. Have you seen the belly? That was like, a canooch. What does that mean? When we were in high school, canooch is a bad joke. That's a canooch. It sounds like a dirty coochie. <laughs> a canooch. Bro, I'm like, it's a mukbang, but like, I'm not even... Chick-fil-A is so played out, bro. It's so played when out. You eat it. I don't want to eat it all the time. I love it. As you guys can tell, this video was like, not structured at all. We're just talking about a bunch of random stuff. It's not supposed to be structured. What else is some stuff that we can update them on? I hope our baby comes out looking like me. Mm. Honestly, either way, it's cool, but like, it'd be cool to have a son that looks like me. Are you sure about that? What is that supposed to mean? As long as he doesn't have my nose, we're cool. Mm -hmm. I want to have my ears, though. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> What's wrong with my ears, bro? Just like you saying you want him to have your nose? I do have big ears, and they're just going to get bigger because... She got them Italian earlobes, bro. My Nana's ears, they were pretty big. Um... Furious. Bro, we're literally like- Don't try and blame that on me. We're sitting on the floor right now. Don't. Like your fart air is just going over the food right now. Good. In a small ass room. As it should. You're disgusting, Jordan. Guys, I'm an open book. No, he care. forces his farts out. No, like, I bro, don't. Take that shit somewhere else. You hold your farts in. No, I take my business to the bathroom or room you're not in. Bro, guys, when you be silent Putin, I just don't want to like call you out on it. I smell it When? I'm kidding. I mean, sometimes I do if I can't make it to the bathroom fast. Like, lately. That's why your stomach hurts because you hold lately, in all your I've farts. Been, lately, I've been gassy and I'm like, I try she to. She holds run in all her farts and that's why her stomach always hurts. Because when I get. You need to let that shit out. I do, just not around you. Oh my gosh, you guys, the girls went to school today. I Lila's, like it though. I like it. She cries. Lila's in I'm kindergarten. Like, they're growing and up. Italy's I like that shit. I literally. People like try and say like don't rush it and stuff, but like I'm so excited to see the type of like relationship we have when they're in high school and stuff. He's excited for them to get older and I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm gonna cry. But watch when the baby gets here, you're gonna be like, dang, stop growing. If we decide to have another kid, we wanna adopt. Don't be so like sure though, like that we're done trying because who knows? It's in my hands. How are you gonna tell me? I have to carry the baby. Look, oh. he's moving right now. Is the food good? It's delicious. Anyways, we're taking like, we have three classes this month to take for birthing class. I did it with Ileana and honestly I found it like super helpful. So I was like, it'd be a good refresher and then it'd be good for Jordan because he needs to know everything. It's time. Yeah, that's kind of an update on what's going on with us right now. This month is going to be a grind for us because we have a lot of stuff planned. I just started going back to physical therapy because my knee is definitely not where I want it to be. And so, got that. Got the girls, we're gonna be at their school twice a day. In school full time Dropping now. off, picking up. And then also getting ready for baby boy. The baby shower and all the other stuff that we have. We kind of do it to ourselves though, like, but I like it. I like to stay busy. A and lot of it's appointments because now our appointments are every two weeks. I have a couple appointments scheduled this week and next week for my hair. Get my eyebrows done. Next, next week you're doing it? 
Oh, I don't know. I'm messaging her to book my appointment. Anyways. I'm getting my hair done, and he does not want me to get because I'm getting extensions Guys, put in. Guys, tell her no. You, they're gonna... I'm getting extensions put in, and he does not want me to. I'm here to help her make smart decisions. Last time she had extensions, she didn't no. like it, and her. This is what happened. She's Listen, gonna get her Linda. extensions. We're gonna, and this is not the the lady that does extensions is not in this town. <laughs> so we're gonna be driving. A two hour drive there, two hours drive back, and I guarantee it's you, really I guarantee you, after a week, she's gonna be ready to take them out. One week. No. One week, she's gonna be ready so, to take listen, them out. So, listen, this was my hair journey when we first got together. I had hair extensions like sewn in for a whole year. Mind you guys, I dyed my hair like four times. I even went platinum blonde and still sewed in extensions, and it thinned my hair and made my hair super choppy. Like, literally. I had patches. Honestly, I'm going to try to see. I, I think I have a picture and I'm going to, if I have one, we'll pop it up right here. But because I didn't give my hair the break that it needed, I was super choppy. I was a bald headed hoe. Like my hair was just basically gone. Like it was bad, but I learned from that. My hair is super healthy right now. And I feel like as long as you take care of your hair and you take those breaks that you need when you do get like hair extensions put in, You'll be fine. How much longer do your hair is to the middle of your back already? No, it's not. It has grown. Like, why don't you just let it so that once it gets to that length, you could be like, fill it in my these ain't back. extensions, baby. Bro. But no, when my hair is up front, like, I want it to be like down here. I think it'll be cute and fun just to have for a little bit. And for no a week, one, and she's going to be ready to no take them out. No one's going to stop me. I'm going to have them in for a couple months. One, so you're going to have them in when you give birth? No, you're yeah. not going to want them in when you give birth. She's not. You know it. She is not gonna want extensions when she goes into labor. Trust me. Why don't you just wait? I'm trying to be a bad bitch in the hospital. You still will be just without extensions. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just a little update on our life. Of course, we do. I personally think he's Can coming. Can we tell them we're 30 week, 31 weeks today? In four weeks, we'll be in the safe zone, and then you can have them anytime after that. That's crazy. I'm literally, once I turn 35 weeks, I'm bouncing on the ball. You can start bouncing on the ball right now. No, I can't. It'll be exercise. Or will it bounce him too much? <laughs> I don't know, but I don't want a chance to because like. literally when I had Myla, I started bouncing on the ball. The very next day, I was four centimeters dilated and didn't even know it. Didn't even know it. So, didn't even know it. Didn't even know it. So, I'm not taking any chances. All right, you guys. I love you guys. And we will see you guys on the next video. Bye.